Luda Barth was born in 1958 in Berlin, Germany. She is known as a contemporary photographer who currently lives and works in Los Angeles, California. Her photographs have been in many well-known museums, including the Museum of Modern Art, the Tate Gallery in London, and the Metropolitan Museum of Art, just to name a few. She is a 2012 MacArthur Fellow and received the John Simon Guggenheim Fellowship in 2004 to 2005. Her photographs have different subjects, but in the following images, there is definitely a connection seen between all of these. Fear has stolen all my sleep. If tomorrow means my death, pray you'll save their souls with it. Let the songs I sing bring joy to you. Let the words I say confess my love. Let the notes I choose be a favorite tune. And Father, let my heart be after you. In this hour of doubt I see Who I am is not just me So give me strength to tie myself So love can live to tell the tale let the songs I sing bring joy to you. Let the words I say confess my love. Let the notes I choose. Uta Parth has mentioned some of her inspirations, although they are not photographers. She has been inspired by sculpture, installation work, and film. Some names of artists she has drawn inspiration from include Robert Irwin, Robert Ryman, and John Cage. Looking closer at one of those artists, Robert Irwin, shows a great deal of connectedness between their work. Robert Irwin is an installation artist, which is a very different medium of art compared to art photography. While they are very different in medium, the concepts are very similar. In this first example of Irwin's work, you can clearly see the use of light affecting the room's shape. Barth also concentrates on the important idea of light and what it can create in a work of art. The second example of Irwin's work reminds me greatly of the white photograph shown earlier of Barth's. There is rectangular light coming from the ceiling in an all-white room, and that light, along with the glass columns, create different shapes of light within the room. He is playing along with the concept of perception of light as well as minimalism just as Uta Barth does in her photography. Field number 20 is one image of Barth's that is the largest work of art she has created. The photograph shows a street corner which is out of focus and has a very shallow depth of field. We are able to make out a street as well as buildings on either side. There are red stoplights that are also present. These lights, since so out of focus, look like very large dots. It is almost as if the photograph is a very abstracted design of muted colors with small pops of red. There is an implication of movement by the camera and the activity within the image. Rather than letting viewers see the street corner, clearly she is making the subject the space and the light within the photograph rather than the literal street corner. Every breath brings a chance for redemption in in analyzing her series and to draw a bright white line with light, there's a lot we can say about the use of minimalism in her work. Her subject is very simple, a light filtering through a curtain. This subject creates a very interesting perception. Uta Barth photographs in her home, and this is another example of using a very domestic location within her work. She traces a band of light that winds across the curtains during one afternoon. There are small changes within the light and atmosphere within the same subject. Together, these images create a look at the passing of time and make us more aware of what we are seeing. Uta Barth does not have a specific artist statement that could be found. 
but through her interviews and work, we can see that her intention in all of the images she takes is to create these abstract photographs. She intentionally creates images with average subjects, but that is in order to enhance the process of perception that the viewer engages in. She strives to change the way we perceive images traditionally into new and inventive ways. Uta Barth is not attempting to comment on a socio-economic climate. Within her work, she is trying to change the ways of our perception, which has been said previously. While doing so, she may be commenting on the way we look at images every day. She does not want the viewers to look at all photographs the traditional way, but rather create these new ideas when seeing these simple images. Through this, she may mean that the pro she doesn't agree with this process on how viewers look at images and they don't go through a perceptual process, like the one she is trying to create. Udo Barth's quote, My work is always first and foremost about perception. Every work has the same criteria. How do I get you to let go of that what is being depicted? My desire is to get the viewer to become aware of their own perceptual process on what is hanging on the wall, become fully immersed in their own perception. This quote from Uta Barth explains her idea of how she wants people to view her work. She definitely tries to emphasize perception within all of her photos, as the quote explains. Paul Soto commented on Uta Barth's work in the book Uta Barth to Draw With Light. He was quoted saying, A heightened state of seeing almost always succeeds the feeling of fatigue, through this, Uta Barth makes us aware of what makes a picture a picture and how exactly we look at it. This shows how viewers look at Uta Barth's photographs after the new ways of perception she creates. There's a reaction viewers get after looking at these images, and it makes it super interesting to show us how we look at photographs traditionally versus Uta Barth's.